welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Double in. Solo two fish trip right there. That's a beast. Let's do this. Let's do this. That's mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Let's do this. today i got my oldest of four children the one the only the fish slayer avi all right everybody it's mid-afternoon we're rigging up and we're heading towards the inlet we're gonna head up to a nice little fishing hole i got up north over the reef we're gonna do some afternoon nighttime fishing for snack before we get into this though if you want to learn more about fishing grow as an angler or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures you can start by hitting the subscribe button don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, everybody. We got a nice breeze coming from the south. Looks like it's going to be a great afternoon. You know what that means. We'll see you out on the water. All right, so we are at the stop for the reef where I want to fish tonight. What I know is there is a ledge that goes from about ah, 70 feet up to about 50 feet. So what I'm doing is I'm adjusting my boat to find the ledge. And the ledge runs for about a quarter mile to a half a mile to the north. So I'm going to park it anywhere just on the ledge right as I'm getting on it. I'm going to throw in the anchor. And we're gonna start chumming. See if we can get some snapper up, up feeding in the water column. Hungry. So what we got is we got some Manhattan chum from Bionic Bait. We're gonna drop it in our chum bag, get it overboard, and start letting it smoke. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just peeling off the box off the frozen block of chum. And I'm gonna put the lock in initially and see which way my current's going. Let it start to smolder, let it send out those oils, see if we can uh, get the fish to come up to us and say hello. So we're going to be using a couple of different baits. One of the baits is going to be frozen sardines and the other bait we're going to be using is going to be frozen silver sides. These are some of Yellowtail Snapper's favorite baits. So figure we're going to go with Old Faithful try and get that hook up. So my setup is going to be two 10 hooks and a double tandem setup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out where my hooks go on my silver side. I'm going to hook in the trailer hook on his back. Then I will hook in my lead hook straight through the cartilage of his head. And we're rigged up. We're ready to go. So you're just going to let your bait out. There's no need to cast it out or anything. You just let it out and you consistently let it drift into the current and you wait for the bite. You don't ever want to stop your line and drag your bait through the water. It looks unnatural. What will happen is when a fish hits it, you'll feel it yank the line out. That's when you'll slam your belt shut and you will try your darndest to retrieve your fish. We've got the ledge back to us this way, back about 50 to 100 yards maybe, which is good. So and everything is heading back towards the ledge, which is good, which will draw the fish off the top of that reef ledge into our chum slip. Yellowtail. There we go. All right, let's see. There we go. Yellowtail snapper. We're going to measure him up, see if he's legal. Yellowtail got to be 12 inches to the tip of the tail. And we'll put him in the ice bucket. All right, so that was a nice first fish. So we're going to go back with this. What we've done is we're not really flatlining. We've got an eighth ounce 
little egg sinker on acting as a knocker rig on our double tandem 1-0 hook setup. Got that nice little yellow tail. He's about 12 and a half inches, but he's a keeper. Again, just gonna take our line. Drift it out into the chunk. See if we can get that hook up. Yeah, it's always that, that feeling of the snapper yanking the line out of your hand and setting that hook, that, that strike never gets old. This is the sort of fishing I grew up doing, snapper fishing over the reefs. So again, just consistently let out line. Don't ever stop letting out line. Even if you think your bait has hit the bottom, let out line. You don't want it to drag through the water column. Now a little tip, if you're fishing for yellowtail and you're getting little guys that are barely keepers if, and not keepers, you're gonna to wanna to pick up and move because they're all gonna be around that size. So we just got a keeper, so we'll see if we get another one and uh, figure out their size range from there. But I'm playing the optimistic role right now. Oh, and we got another one. There we go. couple of handfuls of drops we've had our chum line sitting for at least 30 to 40 minutes which means it's working it's going back over there where there's a ledge that runs up to about 50 feet and we're sitting in just under 70 feet so we're dragging the fish to our chum slit which is the total effect of how you do yellowtail fishing and we're using as light of a weight as possible which is what you want to do you don't want your bait to go straight down to the bottom because yellowtail feed up in the water column. They're not bottom feeders. And there will be hot moments where you're getting bite after bite after bite. And there'll be cold moments where you don't get anything for a few moments. You just gotta keep fishing. And there we go, we got another one. It's just like that. They're feeding good right now at the turn of the tide. So I'm taking advantage of this hot bite with the yellowtails right now. Here it comes, and there we go, just like that. Third yellowtail. All right, so we're having a nice little hot bite right now from the yellowtail. We got a great drift going on, dragging them off the reef. They're coming and they're hot to eat, which is good. Not really marking them on my fish finder, but I know they're out there a little bit, which is where my bait is being dragged to from the current. Sun's starting to go down. Nice breeze. It's not hot. It's a little bumpy, but hey, that's all part of fishing. Getting a little bit wet, getting a little bit baited up. This is all part of reef fishing for yellowtail. Oh, and we're on. And that's how that happens. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Turn on his side immediately. And here we go. Yellowtail! Woo! Yellowtail number four. Alright, so that was uh yellowtail number four. We're gonna hit this bite. The sun is going behind the clouds that are out to the west. We're gonna see if there's still hot bite going on. I've got lots of ballyhoos swimming around behind the boat, which is good. That means you know that commotion is gonna draw in the predators. So if I see bait, I know I'm in a good spot. I've got good sized yellow tail coming up, hitting the bait, so can't really, you know, knock this spot right now. Doing all right. And we've got the right setup. What we're going with is small double tandem hook setup of 1-0 hooks, and we've got an eighth ounce knocker rig going on. That seems to be what they're eating right now, so there's no need to change it. Oh, there we go. And we're on. That's how that works. Just 
wait for that peeling out of that line. They rip it out of your hand. And you just slam the bell and you let the monofilament stretch and shock absorb and do its work and set the hook. And here we go. Another yellowtail. We are banging them out right now, man. That's number five. So that was yellowtail number five. As you can see, the method that we are using, the tactic of just free lining out knocker rig is proving to be ultra effective at this point. So I'm not changing anything. Just keep letting that line out. When they take it, you'll feel it. They'll literally yank it out of your hand. You won't be able to stop it. And that's when you move to the real control and you slam your bell shut. Lots of times if you reel yellowtail up fast, they will swim on their sides and you can retrieve them to the boat ultra quick. There we go, that's yellowtail number six. All right, so we're back to the action. We're gonna get Abby on, see if we can get Abby into the hookup. All right, still doing all right. Got her chum blowing out. Give that bag a couple of shakes. All right, Abby, come here. All right, remember, there you go, hold this here. All right. And we're just gonna keep letting out line. It's doing teamwork right now. Teamwork makes the dream work. Getting Abby used to this yellowtail fishing bite, something that he has not done ever. So we're gonna see if we can get Abby into his first yellowtail ever. Got lots of bait fish going on around here. Lots of life, which is good. It's gonna draw in some predators. Getting down towards the bottom. Oh, there we go. You're on, you're on, reel. There you go, you got a fish. Reel, there it is. Reel. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get any by a shark. Get him up on the boat. Reel. There you go, big guy. Woo! Abby with the yellow tail. Reel before a shark gets him, big guy. There we go. He's getting him up. Come on, reel. Here we go, here, here, here he goes, here he goes. Here we go, Abby with his first yellow tail ever. Yellow tail! Yellow tail are the best. Yes, they are. Big guy, all right. Yes, yes. There we go. Yes, yellow tail are the best fish forever. Oh yeah. All right, we're back at it. Here, Abby, you wanna come over here? Yes, what I'm gonna do, do is I'm gonna set the hook for Abby. Now I'm going to let them reel it in because the fish are being a little tricky right now. They're running away with their bait, which is fine. Sharing is caring, right? Again, we haven't moved from the same spot where we've been here since the, you know, the late afternoon. Chumming it up. That chum slick goes out far now. Far over the reef. Drawing in all the fish. So we could have all sorts of visitors. Who knows what we got? So, like I said, the target species is the yellowtail, but you never know who's going to show up. And there we go. Here, I mean, real, real big guy. There you go. Real, real big guy. Real. You're on. You got a fish. There you go. All right. Yep. What happened was the. You still got him. Real. <laughs> Silly. The, the line had stopped reeling. Oh. Oh, man. Whoa. That's a big shark down there. Whoa. We got sharks down there, which explains why. And we got a lane snapper instead of a, instead of a yellow tail. That's a big shark down there. That's why we're, uh, our, our fish are disappearing. So, lane snapper's got to be eight inches, but we're going to let him go. We're not after lane snappers. Hopefully the shark does not hang around. Again, we're still fishing with the knocker rig. The double 1-0 tandem set up on the hooks. Eight ounce weight. Got about 10 to 15 feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon hooked up to 
my 12 pound test monofilament main line. The reel I'm using is a Penn Spin Fisher 5500, small snapper spinner, light class. Gonna give this another shot. See if our shark friend is still hanging around, scaring off our dinner. So I switched up my bait to a sardine plug to see if I can entice the uh, more targeted species to feed. Not really looking for lane snappers, but there's what's biting. So. showed up eh, killed her bite caught a couple of lane snappers who weren't afraid to eat in the presence of the sharks but the yellowtail sort of disappeared what happened today was you know we went out in the afternoon we said hey we're gonna go park it up on the reef find us a nice spot we're gonna start chumming give it a good solid half hour 45 minutes see what happens start deploying some baits see if we can find the snapper the yellowtail snapper and that's pretty much exactly what happened we caught a mess load of them. We got Abby to catch his first yellowtail snapper. Doesn't get any better than that. Spending time with the family, fishing into the night. We're going home with dinner. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you got something out of watching this afternoon, dusk into the nighttime fishing episode for yellowtail snapper. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.